Today we're going to be taking a look at Square Enix's Final Fantasy Creatures Kai series volume 2. Now once the Play Arts series became the Play Arts Kai series with an increased focus on articulation, detail and uh, increased scaling, the Master Creatures uh, have been replaced with the series Final Fantasy Creatures Kai. Now this is the Volume 2 box. Uh, the boxes usually come with five uh, individual figures. They're of smaller scale to the Master Creatures series. Uh, and there's always a secret figure per each series that isn't included in the usual box release. I believe this, the secret figure for this series was Chaos. Um, so unfortunately he's not in the box. I'm not sure why, they should just throw all six per series I think in the box and, and that's what you pay for. But uh, nevertheless let's take a look at uh, the nice window display box for volume two. As you can see here on the back we've got some nice uh, imagery, uh, some photography pictures of the pieces that are inside and uh, some, a little bit of information about which game they came from. So here we've got uh, Shinryu from Final Fantasy V, we've got Siren from Final Fantasy VIII, Bahamut from Final Fantasy IX, we've got Vincent in his Chaos form from the Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII game which was a spin-off, and we have Ifrit from Final Fantasy X. Right, I was uh, very interested in checking these out and seeing what kind of uh, quality these figures have. Uh, so let's uh, open them up and check them out. And here we have the Volume 2 set of the Final Fantasy Creatures Kai. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take a look at them uh, individually. Um, unfortunately when I first bought my first uh, box set of these, um, I had some quality control issues. In fact, the uh, left arm of Bahamut was completely missing. It was just a, a hollow, hollow peg hole. Um, all the rest of the figures were fine uh, in that set, uh, but I had to return the box. I got a second, second set from the store, um, and then I had some further quality control issues. Um, the Vincent Chaos form uh, was literally leaning like that, so I had to uh, literally break this uh, base apart and re-glue it in a manner where he could actually balance and look fairly straight um, while doing it. Um, and the Shinrayu seems to be leaning to the side. He wasn't doing it in the previous uh, set I had. Should have been more straight like that, but mine is uh, leaning. So that's very, very disappointing the quality control issues I've had so far with uh, these new Final Fantasy creatures, Kai. So let's take a look at Siren first. This is Siren from Final Fantasy VIII. She was a summon you could uh, draw, I believe, out of the uh, Elveret Beast at the top of the uh, the radio dish control tower. Um, not a very effective summon. Uh, interesting design taken from uh, the mythical siren creatures that would lure uh, men onto the rocks uh, to die. Um, kind of sinister, but uh, beautiful all the same. She'd play her harp and uh, would cast silence on the enemy. I like the way they've used uh, the uh, different uh, types of plastics to create some translucency, kind of like before with the Master Creatures line. Um, some nice variation. Um, I don't know if you can see, but like just under a leg, you can see some kind of unpainted uh, section um, there, so you can see straight through to the clear plastic. So. The uh, the quality, I mean, with the Kai brand, the quality is supposed to increase, but um, so far I'm not as impressed as I, as I have been with the uh, as I was with the Master Creatures line. Right, we've got uh, Vincent Valentine in his Chaos form from the Dirge of Cerberus. Uh, this is a nice demonic-looking figure. Uh, in the original Final Fantasy VII video game, you could achieve Chaos form. Didn't actually look quite like this. And his gun, the death penalty, didn't quite look like that in the original game. It was kind of a redesign for the Dirge of Cerberus game. But I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I would be happy if they were to, to use this, if they ever used uh, Vincent Valentine's character again. 
And uh, I think this, this is a piece I would like to see in uh, Play Arts Kai scale. This would be a, a fantastic piece. I mean, I know we've got several Vincents and we haven't got a Barrett or a Sid yet for the Final Fantasy series. But um, yeah, I wouldn't mind to see Vincent Valentine Chaos form. Let's have a look at Shinrayu. See, he's kind of lopsided, so uh, he's kind of detracted from the overall look when I see him leaning to the side. Um, but still, you can get to, still you can see a nice amount of detail on this one. The use of uh, some different coloured translucent plastics in the neck there and uh, a coating on the wings, kind of like what was on the Odin Master Creatures cape. Uh, you can check out that review. I like how, his, how detailed his tail is and uh, his nice little stand. Um, all these spines are very, uh, very well detailed. Very well done. You can see all the scales. Um, quite, quite fearsome looking. Quite nice. Let's check out uh, Bahamut. Uh, he was probably the one that uh, really enticed me to get the series. Uh, I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy IX, and uh, I wanted to collect more of the summons from that game, as we've uh, seen a few on here already. Uh, we can see the town of uh, Alexandria. Um, from the scene where Bahamut does battle with uh, the holy elemental Alexander that appears at the castle. I believe at the time Bahamut was being controlled by Kuja um, and Garland uh, to destroy Alexandria. So it's quite an epic uh, FMV part of that game. Uh, one of the most memorable parts of Final Fantasy IX and uh, I am I am a fan of this design of Bahamut, uh, among others. Uh, I like his, how his long tails wrapped around and how he stood on the rooftops. That's some nice added detail and really defines which game it comes from. Um, so it's quite a nice one. I wish it was more of a, a dynamic pose, kind of like the Final Fantasy VIII Master Creatures Bahamut. But uh, for this smaller scale, it's, uh, it's quite nice. And last but not least, we've got... Ifrit from Final Fantasy X and as I stated in the Ifrit from Final Fantasy VII review um, I do prefer his more bestial form looks more like a dog or a wolf uh, and we've got the flame element uh, as he erupts from the ground we've got pieces of uh, hot rocks and uh, fire um, it's just a empty dome there uh, I would have thought it'd be one flat piece uh, it does give it some instability issues it kind of wobbles a little bit it's not as flat as I'd like it to be so it's more quality control issues that come in with these new Kai figures but uh, I do like this here for it and uh, I would put him with uh, the other Master Creatures releases like uh, Yujimbo, Shiva and the Major Sisters uh, as part of those uh, that, that Aeon set but um, the new scale is kind of disappointing because it kind of looks a bit odd next to the larger figures um, I guess you can forgive that. Uh, we do get more releases uh, because they are in a smaller scale, so we can fill up the collection faster. But I do wish that the, even if they'd have kept the quality, um, but kept the size. But uh, you can't ask for everything. Um, slightly disappointed with this set, um, but they are nice for what they're worth and uh, the price is good for each of the individual figures uh, divided between the whole case. Um, so if you are a Final Fantasy fan and you're looking to collect these, uh, these are available now along with Volume 1 and Volume 3 which are all the, uh, f well, five of the six Final Fantasy 13 uh, Eidolons. And we've got uh, Series 4 of the Master Creatures Kai um, coming out soon. So look forward to that. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I will see you soon for more reviews. Thanks for watching.